All right, next, let's kick it on down to Oxford, where, again, I mean, hell, anytime Lane Kiffin's talking, he's talking NIL, he's talking transfer portal. This edition is all about the transfer portal and how they're uh, utilizing it down there in Oxford to reload from last season's 10-win campaign there. Of course, the best regular season in school history. But how interesting – this is one of the biggest mysteries to me in the SEC this year is how a program can possibly do this and rebuild the roster basically almost exclusively through the transfer portal. This truly is uh, you know, an NFL-style free agency, and Kiffin's holding nothing back here. They're basically using spring practice to evaluate the roster to understand where they need to attack next in the transfer portal. So there's going to be more transfers to come here in Oxford. Let's kick it over to Lane Kiffin. I just think the portal guys, you know, are more, it's not a hit and miss as a high school guy because you're seeing them play college football. So, um, you know, those guys, not to just focus on them, but they have looked really good. And, you know, that, you know, we didn't really take a lot of guys necessarily that were, at a major place, but not playing, you know, that left just because they were hap were unhappy because they were sitting on the bench. And then that's more of a wild card because you're getting them and you really haven't seen film. You know, maybe they just sat out and registered or barely played. Most of these guys played, so um, you know, it's you know that that that's been good because it kind of the analytics of it. You know, as you look at it, you're saying, okay, well, here's here's these guys and they all look like they can help us. You know, versus when you get your high school guys, you know, the first week or two, you know, you see some guys say that those guys can help us and some guys that are probably, you know, a ways away. How about? I don't know. I know I equate things to professional sports a lot or the NFL because that's really what we are now in all areas. It's professional sports. So um, to me, it's no different than having mini camps, looking at everybody, and then you have a few guys that you see right before training camp you know, that are still free agents out there that usually veteran guys that NFL said, okay, well, we're worried about this spot, you know, and so we go and sign somebody up there. So definitely. Not to ask for specifics, but has that happened yet at all? Or in your mind, you're like, we probably need somebody here as opposed to what you went Yeah, I mean, I, I do that every day, but I try to slow up and wait for all the practices, you know, because – you know, that, that's better to have more input and not try to fix problems right now. And so just try to be patient with that. Hey, so credit my man Jake Wimberly. If you missed it, go back on the last episode. But this is exactly what he's talking about. It's much easier to evaluate these guys in the portal. You got college film on them than even it is high school and uh, junior college players. So, you know, Jake knows what he's talking about. That's why he's on the show. And what are the guys that uh, – Ole Miss fans need to know now, if they don't already, the Southern Cal transfer tight end, Michael Trigg, one season at Southern Cal, only played in four games, but had seven catches, 109 yards, and a touchdown, and just a physical specimen here. And I'm hearing great things about him, and that's, use the S word here, special. Called Michael Trigg a special talent here. Big time potential for uh, the new Ole Miss tight end. What have you seen from, uh, from Michael Trigg so far? He's obviously he was pretty diamond at the USC when he was uh, available. What, what does he kind of look like so far? I mean, I don't like telling this because everybody says this, but, you know, it's probably told him this forever. I mean, his, his potential is unbelievable. Um, you know, his catching radius and balance and body control is just – they don't make many like that in the world, you know. And so um, he's done great things already. And it is crazy, like I told the staff, because we just kind of think of Portal as like free agency, like those are the older ones. This guy's in his second semester of college, which is crazy to think about when you see his skill set. So we're obviously really excited about him. So anytime I hear comments like this from Kiffin, I just imagine him staying up all night trying to figure unique ways to get these players that he calls special talents, ways to get them the football. And he's like a damn mad scientist up there. So I'm very intrigued to see what the Rebels have in store for Michael Trigg next fall. And again, this is, like I said, this just makes Ole Miss one of the biggest wild cards in the SEC because you just 
You don't know how they're going to roll out, what they're going to look like. And uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I love surprises. So, all right, last team we're going to hit on here. Let's jump on down to Rocky Top. 